Hello everyone and welcome. In this lesson, we will learn about control objects. All right, so control objects are simply objects that we use to control other objects with. So essentially what we will do in this lesson is we will learn how to build a control object for this arm rig we have been creating in this course. Now, what we will go ahead and do first is select our IK go okay then from the motion tab and underneath the ik display options rollout in the go display section we can go in and increase the size of our ik go feel free to press the control key while dragging to increase the amount faster, okay? We can go in and now increase the size until we get something that is a little bit easier to select. I think that a value of 40 will work out very well, and sure it does. <laughs> now, when building controls, when we are creating control objects for our rigs, there are a few rules we would like to keep in mind. We want to make sure that the control object is going to be easy to select. That means making it large enough so we don't accidentally select anything else. We also want to make sure that we can clearly understand where that control belongs to or what it will control. Then lastly, we want to make sure that the control object is clean. So in case we ever need to go back to this default position, in our case for the arm, this default position, it will be easy to do that. All right, so let's say we go ahead and get started. First, we will head over to the create tab within the command panel and under the shapes category, let's choose the circle option. Now to create this circle object, all we need to do is click on the grid, okay, I have pressed the G key to turn on the grid so we can see clearly where this circle is going to be created. So to create the circle, all we need to do is click on the grid and drag to specify the radius of that circle, okay. And to finish the creation process of this circle, all we need to do is right click. All right, from there, we would want to reposition this new control object to the place that should control. So to do this, we need to align this control object to this IK Go. A quick way to do this will be to use a tool called the Quick Align in 3ds Max. So we will select first our circle object then we will press the shift a on our keyboard notice how our cursor changes we are now in the quick align mode if you want to you can use this tool over here in the mean toolbar this is also the quick align tool so you have two ways either use the shift a on your keyboard or press this icon on the mean toolbar both do the same thing okay and now all we have to do is simply go ahead and select the object we would like to snap to that's going to be our ik go all right boom so take a look we have managed to align now the control object to our ik go beautiful now once this is in place we can see that this circle is definitely easy to select but Chances are we want to make this a little bit smaller because at this moment it is looking a little bit bigger than what we need. And so let's grab the circle and grab the scale tool or the R key on your keyboard and start scaling our control down just a little bit in all axes by grabbing this center gizmo, okay? Let's scale 
this control down just a little bit okay all right just a little bit more all right this is looking fantastic beautiful now to make this control even more beautiful what we can do is with our control still selected let's go to the modify tab the second icon in the command panel and under the rendering rollout notice we can enable this option enable in viewport and watch what that's gonna do that's gonna add some thickness to our curve again making it easy to select and it will not render in the end okay i press the shift q to render all right no control in our final rendering which is super cool now to control this thickness you can adjust this thickness value over here to your liking as you can see now if you want the control to be a lot more thicker you can increase the amount of thickness or decrease it if you want the opposite i will leave this at a value of three centimeters this is looking beautiful all right awesome it is also a good idea to rename our control object to stay organized we can call our new control object control underscore arm since it is controlling the arm of our crocodile friend all right excellent so we have made sure that our control is easy to select also we have made sure that we know exactly what's that object is going to control by where we have placed this so the next thing we need to do is clean this object up to do so we want to alt right click then we'll choose freeze transforms this is going to make it possible for our let's move this to the side to see clearly oops let's alt right click in here of course with our arm control set selected we want to choose freeze transforms and what's that going to do is it is going to make it possible for us to go back to this default position very easily by essentially resetting the transform values that are applied to this control object so these values right down here at the bottom of the interface that we have currently on our control will be reset all to zero this will be the new default position for our control okay so let's alt right click to show you this clearly we'll select our object or control object then alt right click we'll choose then freeze transforms now we'll click on the ok button now notice this if we go ahead and move our object around okay just like so if we were now to select our object then press the alt right click then this time choose the transform to zero take a look the control object pops back to its new zero position which is beautiful and very helpful all right excellent so that's how we make sure our control object can get back easily to their default position the next thing we can go ahead and do is get rid of any old data that may be stored within this control object so essentially we are resetting the x form we are cleaning up any old data that can cause some issues later when we set up our control to work okay or to control something the way we do this in 3ds max is by grabbing first the control object we would like to clean up then from the utilities tab this last icon over here in the command panel we will choose the reset x4 command then reset selected now with our object still selected if we were now to go back to the modify tab notice this new modifier called x form that has been added to the modifier stack 
of our control object. It has been added automatically when we have clicked on the reset selected command. This is actually what's now containing the old data of our control object. And to have our object cleaned up, we need to get rid of this new modifier by collapsing it down. So to do so, we will head back over to the utilities tab. Then at this time, we will choose the collapse command. All right, we have here two options in the output type section. The second option, which is mesh. This will essentially convert our control object to an editable mesh when we select the collapse selected. To show you this clearly, if I now select the second option and click on the collapse selected, if I were to go back to the modify tab, here's our object converted to editable mesh. All right, let's undo back by pressing the control Z. And now the first option will leave the type of the object as it is, meaning that if we had previously an editable poly, it will remain that way when we collapse it. The same thing would apply if we had, for instance, an edible mesh or, for instance, a primitive object. Now, if we select the first option, modifier stack result, then click on the collapse selected button. If we were to go back to the modify tab, check this out. We have now managed to clean up our control and now it is an editable spline thanks to that first option we have chosen. So with that first option, it has preserved the type of the object. So it was a 2D shape and now it is still a 2D shape. It is just converted to an editable spline, but it is still a 2D shape. How cool is that? The next step to do now is to actually have this control object control something, right? <laughs> so for that, we will use constraints. In the next lesson, we will see how to set up this control object to control our arm rig.